Good evening. This is Turiki Delamere, former Minister of Immigration and currently Principal Consultant for TDA Immigration. This evening, I want to discuss the comments made by the current Minister of Immigration, the Honourable Ian Lees Galloway, concerning those migrant visa holders who are currently stuck overseas and unable to return to New Zealand because of the COVID-19 lockdown crisis. And also the government's position on those people applying for essential skills work visas. This afternoon, the minister made it very clear that those migrants on work visas who are stranded overseas cannot expect to return to New Zealand anytime soon. Now, what does the minister mean by anytime soon? I feel fairly confident that means the earliest those of you who have work visas and are stranded overseas will not be able to return to New Zealand until 2021. And even then, the minister goes on to say that when the borders are reopened and you are eligible to return to New Zealand, the fact that you have an existing work visa or if it's expired, whether you are allowed to work or not will depend on the gaps on the local job market and the workforce needs at the time of the border reopening. As the minister made clear, the government will absolutely be applying the labor market test for temporary work visas. And that is the labor market test um, at the time the border reopens. And the reality is there are going to be fewer gaps and fewer roles for migrant workers. Now, is this fair? No, it's not. But sadly and unfortunately, across the world, there is nothing that's fair about COVID-19. The government is taking this position because at the end of their day, their first priority is to look after the needs and wants of New Zealand citizens and New Zealand resident visa holders. They're a bit unclear of the information as to when things will reopen. And that's because at the moment, they are themselves not sure of the full impact on the unemployment and company bankruptcy situation in New Zealand um, as a result of COVID-19. But they're fighting an election in four months time. And if the government is perceived to in any way create a situation where migrant visa holders are able to take precedence over New Zealand citizens, the government will pay a heavy price at the ballot box. Now, what is the situation when visas are being assessed, applications? Applications are being assessed. Immigration officers must be satisfied that at the time of assessment, that immigration instructions are met. Now, right now, that's all sort of up in the air. Last week, the government passed the Immigration COVID-19 Response Amendment Act, which allows the government to make, or the minister to make instantaneous decisions on what policy should be. But as I said, a lot of those are unclear at the moment because the government itself is unclear as to the total impact of COVID-19 on the New Zealand unemployment situation. The applicant and the employer are gonna to have to prove pretty much beyond a shadow of doubt that no New Zealand citizens or residence visa holders are available um, for that job. And it'll be according to the labor market at the time of assessment, at the time the borders are reopened. And as I said, that's still a bit unclear as to the numbers of unemployed, but is expected to be in excess of 10% of New Zealand workforce, somewhere between 200 and 300,000 newly unemployed people. And employers are going to be asked to prove that the employment that's being offered to migrant workers 
is sustainable, financially, financially sustainable for the duration of the employment that's being offered. And this is going to be a very difficult hurdle to overcome because if the employer has taken the wage subsidy, that will be almost certainly viewed as a negative in terms of approving work visa applications, skilled work visa applications. Well, look, I don't like being the bearer of bad news, but what I hate even more is when I see people trying to be upbeat and put a positive spin on a very negative situation. I'm prepared to help where I can. My company's prepared to help where I can. But it's important that you really do know and understand the situation. It is not good if you're a migrant who's stuck overseas and you're on an essential skills work visa. You're almost certainly going to face great, great difficulty in getting back to New Zealand and even greater difficulty being allowed to work. The ministers made it clear that if you have belongings and cars and situations set up here in New Zealand, that is not enough for them to consider allowing you back anytime soon. And the minister has suggested that people in your situation should contact your own government as to what could be done. I wish I could provide you more comforting information, but unfortunately, um, I don't have a solution. As I said, happy to chat with you to see if we can find a way through. Anyway, um, I will be bringing regular updates on the immigration situation as it develops. Thank you for listening.